if you have a block here, there's a top, there's a middle, and there's a bottom. Mm. The top contains the SHA-256 hash of the previous block. Yes, yes. Uh, the middle contains all the transactions, all the transactions that you're including. And then at the bottom, you have an empty space where you can include a string of characters. And the idea is that you keep trying out different strings until you get to a point where a certain string of characters mm. combined with everything else that came before, mm. when you input that block into SHA-256, mm. the output that you get looks a certain way. SHA-256 output is always 256 digits, right? Mm. And it's very random looking, mm. but you want it to look a certain way, as in let's say you want it to start with five zeros. The probability of that happening is quite low. So you'll have to try many, many, many times mm. before you end up with a certain bottom string yeah. that will give you the five zeros to begin ah. with. When that block is transmitted, mm. every node on earth, because they're running the same code, automatically can verify whether this block is exactly. valid or not, and then add it to the chain. Yeah.